let's go ahead and get started. You see, a lot of people don't realize this, but I am formerly obese. I'm a fat guy. I was fat all my life. What happened was, is I believed that I had bad genetics. I believed that my in genetic encoding was flawed, and I was doomed to being not only the fat kid, but the fat guy. Turns out it wasn't that at all. I used to call myself a big boned person. I exercised since I was 13 years old. And the phrase is, you can't outrun a cheeseburger, you can't outexercise a bad diet. And I had a very bad diet. See, I'm 100% Italian. That explains a lot. What's on my menu? Pasta, how you doing, huh? Hey. I used to eat bread, I was a breadaholic. Some of you heard this yesterday, but let me get to the point with a show of hands. How many people here believe knowledge is power? How many people here believe knowledge is power? I know most of the people here, here yesterday did not raise their hand, and here's why. Knowledge in and of itself is not power, it's just information. And many of us are feeling guilty because we have the information and we know what to do. You see, what's the word that's missing? Applied. Applied knowledge is power. When we apply what we know, that's where we get results. Knowledge is information, but application is transformation. And when we start applying out of everything that we talked about at yesterday's session, so many people came up to me afterwards and they said, you know what, you're right, it's the application of what I know because most people know what to do. I'm not so presumptuous to believe that I'm gonna bring to you all sorts of new concepts in health and wellness. Everything I talk about is very simple. It's just not easy. Why? Because can you see yourself doing it next year? See, as a former fat guy who was chronically overweight, when I stepped on the scale, 36% of that number was body fat. And then one day I began to realize, wait a minute, maybe it's not genetics, maybe it's diet and lifestyle.